operating rooms at Porter Adventist Hospital, they're back in business. There was a big scare for patients. Big scare. 5,800 letters were sent to patients warning that they might be at risk for HIV, hepatitis B or C, and other surgical infections. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez is at Porter. The hospital wasn't properly sterilizing equipment. And Lance, you got a first-hand look at where the hospital thinks this breakdown happened. And the hospital knows there's a lot of stress involved in getting one of those letters and that patients need to have their questions answered. So today they sent some top officials to apologize and to reassure patients. After the surgery, there's bone and, and tissue and debris on the instrumentation. The first step in cleaning those surgical tools didn't go far enough. That's what Centura Health's senior vice president says was the finding of an independent commission. When the Joint Commission first identified the issue, um, it was not identified as an issue that had caused patient harm. It was an issue that was identified as a process issue. Porter Adventist says state health officials determined that patients might still want to know about the issue, so the hospital has sent out 5,800 letters to spine and orthopedic surgery patients explaining what happened because there is a small risk of infection. Dr. Patty Howell explained the seven-step process in cleaning and sterilizing instruments. After the initial wipe and soak, they are transferred to the sterilization department and are scrubbed by hand with special brushes, then put into a mechanical washer. They are then visually inspected then transferred onto trays, wrapped, and are put into a sterilization chamber. But what most patients want to know, what about the risk of contracting hepatitis and HIV? Those viruses are inactivated at a temperature between 56 and 101 degrees Celsius. Hal says their machines heat up to 134 degrees Celsius for four minutes, two and a half minutes longer than needed. To date, no one has tested positive for HIV or hepatitis. There have been some other surgical infections, but Howe says they have not tried to link any of them to the cleaning issue. Now, Dr. Hall also says that if certain bacteria start popping up over and over again, there's a possibility they could link it to the cleaning issue here, but they don't expect that to happen. They say these patients, the surgical and orthopedic patients, will be treated like anyone else who gets a surgical infection. They'll be evaluated and treated. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. Interesting. Thank right. you, Lance. Thank you, Lance. The hospital has set up a hotline. If you're concerned about a surgery you or someone had, you can find that information on the DenverChannel.com.